Well, Fishos, I've got to tell you, I'm really struggling to squeeze out a good report here. Uh, I'm not going to kid you, it's been terrible, absolutely shocking the weather wise there's a few fish getting caught but you've got to be a brave person there's not too many of them i can tell you now out there at the moment um, but i did get a few reports from victoria and i'll go around the traps as we normally do dartmouth was good on the weekend uh, there was a few trout getting caught uh, mainly trolling with fenders and worms and the like um, most people who uh, fish dartmouth was in little half cab boats got clears on the side stuck a rod out each side and just you know hidden trolls and they, they got an odd few fish so it was nothing spectacular. Getting a few reports from the Hume Weir, what's happening there is there's a few big brown trout getting caught uh, and the few redfin starting to show up but not big numbers and the occasional person getting out in the weir. I reckon if you sat there for a couple of hours you'd be lucky to find a boat out there because that's what the weather's like at the moment. So as you can see we're struggling to get reports in but the people who are going out are getting the odd fish. Murrumbidgee River, dirty as. Uh, I reckon give it another week now. Uh, it did clear up for about half a day uh, and then down came the rain again and dirty it up again. So we'll just have to wait till it cleans up a bit. I mean, you will go out and get a few craze and you might get a few uh, fish on bait, uh, but the lure fishermen are going to really struggle at the moment. By the way, my whaler is full. It's chock-a-block at the moment. Haven't had a report from any fishermen down there, but uh, all the boat rooms are back in the water and uh, it should be firing up over the next month or so. Christ our fingers on that one anyway. Probably fire up just in time for the close of the season obviously, but we'll just wait and see what happens there. Blowering Dam, there's been a few big cod come out of there, a few uh, metre plus cod, I've heard of three in the last week, uh, so it's certainly worth being up there, but look, you've got to be again brave, It's the conditions are hard, drizzly rain, blowy, that sort of thing, you'll get a good couple of windows in that, and you may even get a good weekend this weekend by the look of it, cross our fingers, if you can get up there without any wind, you should do alright, hopefully we'll get a few fish out of Blowering and Burrenjuk over the weekend. Burrenjuk's not too bad, a few big cod, haven't heard of any yellows coming out of there. But as you can see, there's a bit of activity around us. If you're gonna head down the coast, I'm getting a few people saying they're heading down the coast. The offshore scene hasn't been too bad. They're getting a few uh, bluefin, the odd yellowfin, when you can get out in that sort of window between the wind. And uh, the estuaries are pretty quiet at the moment because of the cold water around. But anybody into beach fishing, this is the time. Plenty of salmon, plenty of tarlet. They're in big numbers at the moment. And I will emphasize though, they're off the rocks as well, but if you're going to fish off the rocks, for goodness sake, wear a life jacket. Don't even consider going off the rocks without a life jacket. Not only do you make us cranky, you could die because it is very dangerous and there's a lot of people over the last few years been lost off the rocks. Keep that one in mind. So as you can see, there's a fair bit of fishing around us if you're keen enough, but you've got to be really keen. This is the Complete Angler's Fishery Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.